TypeScript Beta 4.9 was announced and comes with the new Satisfies operator. The Satisfies operator aims to give the ability to the developers to assign the most specific type to expressions for inference. Here's an example. Let's assume that we have a color object. The color object represents a color value in RGB that is red, green, and blue. The value of red, green, and blue can either be a string, which is a hex code like so, or a color in RGB that can be an array of corresponding values of red, green, and blue. This is a pretty standard way of defining color values. We want to have the ability to call array methods on each of the properties of color object. So if I need to get the value of red at the index of zero, I should be able to get it using the bracket notation like this. Here the constant red component should be equal to 255. Also, since the value of any of these properties can be an array as well as a string, we would also want the ability to call string methods on these properties if the value is a string. To demonstrate that, here we can declare another constant green value and convert the value of green color to uppercase using a string function. The constant green value should be converted to uppercase like so. While strict typing the color object, we have to keep these cases in mind and ensure that the properties of the object are not misspelled as well, so red, green, and blue should be spelled correctly. And TypeScript must throw an error if these properties are not spelled correctly. Right now, if I spell blue to something else, TypeScript will not give an error. To achieve this, we can declare a type called properties, and this will be a union of red, green, and blue. For the value of each of these properties, we can declare a type called RGB, which will be a tuple. Our tuple will be an array that will take in three values, that is red, green, and blue, and each of them would be assigned as number types. Now we can use a record type, which is a built-in TypeScript utility type that constructs an object with keys and values. The record type here ensures that all the properties of the color object are of the type properties, that is red, green, and blue, which we can see over here as well. And the value of each of these properties is a union of RGB type and string. A union of RGB and string ensures that the values assigned to red, green, and blue can either be of the type string or can be of the type tuple RGB. So with this, we cannot have a property that is not neither red, green, and blue. So if I try to misspell blue over here, TypeScript will throw an error and it'll tell me that it can only contain red, green, or blue properties. Also, the values assigned to these properties now either have to be a string or RGB type. This is just the half of the battle won, but there's a problem over here. If you look at the green value constant, we will see that TypeScript over here throws an error and it states that property to uppercase does not exist on type RGB. This is because TypeScript is not sure about the value of green, whether it is a string or a tuple. Since we have defined it to be a union of RGB and string, it can either be RGB or string. And over here, we are trying to use the two uppercase, which is a string method. And if the value of green is not string, this will result into an error. In order to safely use string method on green, we would have to validate manually the property before we can use the string method like so. Over here, I have written a condition where I'm checking if the type of color dot green is a string. And if it is a string, we can use the string method within this condition. The moment I put the string method within this condition, you will see the TypeScript error goes away. This is because we have tested this to be a string and now TypeScript knows that it can use the two uppercase method on a string. This is where the new satisfies operator is super helpful. The satisfy operator pre-validates all the properties of the object for us. We can go back to our color object and remove the type definition from here for now. And instead we can use the satisfies operator like so. You will see that we are using the same type definition but with the satisfies operator. Now the satisfies operator will validate the red, green, and blue values for us and check in advance whether each of those properties contains a string or an array of RGB. So now, even if I get rid of this condition where I'm checking whether this is a string or not, you will see that the TypeScript does not throw an error. This is because TypeScript now knows that property green contains a string and not an array because it has pre-validated or checked the values of all the three properties of the color object. Similarly, if I now try to use a string method on the value of blue, TypeScript will throw an error because it knows in advance that blue is an array of numbers and a string method cannot be applied to an array of numbers. The satisfies operator does the heavy lifting for you and checks all the values for you so that you do not have to manually check each of the values of the object to be of the certain type before using a specific method on that value. If you want to learn TypeScript, you might be interested in taking my crash course here on YouTube. 
or subscribing for more updates and tutorials. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.